Hey guys, so we've talked a little bit about limits and one side of limits, so now we're ready to talk about when does a limit actually exist, okay? So limits might not always exist, and uh, here's how to tell whether or not they do. So limits, as x approaches some number c, whatever it is, doesn't really matter, uh, of the function f of x equals big L for limit, okay? So this is going to be true if, and only if, Okay, if you don't know what this is, I'll explain it soon. Um, basically, it's if and only if. So this limit, uh, as x approaches c of f of x equals l, if and only if both of these one-sided limits uh, exist and equal l. Okay, so the limit as x approaches c of f of x equals l if and only if the limit as x approaches c from the left of f of x equals l and the limit as x approaches c from the right of f of x equals l. So in other words, for a limit to exist, both of the one-sided limits have to also exist and uh, be equal to the same thing. And whatever that thing is, is what the limit's going to be equal to. So IFF is short for if and only if, uh, and basically it means that whatever's, whatever you say over here, uh, is the exact same thing as saying this. So this, if and only if this, means these two things say exactly the same thing. So, you know, if one of them is true, then the other must be true as well. So you can also kind of use this the other direction. Uh, if you know this limit exists and is equal to L, then both of these one-sided limits exist and equal L. So it's, it'll make a little more sense if we see a couple examples here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, we have a function y equals f of x here. So let's do uh, some stuff with limits here. So let's say we want to find out limits as x approaches 4 from the left of f of x. Now what's that going to be? Now remember, as we, uh, when we do left-hand limits, we just care about what's happening on the left side of 4 here, right? So x is going to approach 4 from the left and we don't care what's happening on the right, so we're going to cover all that stuff up, not really pay attention to it. So x is coming into 4 from the left. Where does it look like y is going? It looks like y is going to negative 2, right? So as we come into x equals 4 from the left, y is going to negative 2. So this is negative 2, all right? Now how about the right-hand limit? A limit as x approaches 4 from the right of f of x equals what? Well now, we're going to cover everything up on the left side of 4, all right, and now we're just going to take a look at what's happening as we come into 4 from the right. So, coming in from the right, coming in from the right, uh, it looks like the y values are going to 2. So, limit as x approaches 4 from the right of f of x equals 2. All right? So, the left-hand limit exists and it equals negative 2, and the right-hand limit also exists, but it equals 2. So, they don't equal the same thing, so these conditions aren't really satisfied, okay? The left-hand limit exists and it equals a number, but the right-hand limit equals a different number. So because the left and the right-hand limits are not the same thing, then the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x uh, does not exist. So d and e is short for does not exist. So you don't want to say equals d and e, that's not really correct, it's uh, kind of a goofy thing to say. But anyway, uh, limit as x approaches 4 of f of x does not exist because the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit don't equal the same thing. All right. And just for fun, it's kind of irrelevant, but it's worth pointing out, I guess. Uh, when x equals 4, what is y? What is the actual value of y? It's negative 2. So f of 4 equals negative 2. But remember, that kind of stuff is irrelevant for the limits. Okay? Remember, limits just tell you what's, uh, how a function behaves near a certain value of x. All right, let's take a look at another example up here. So now we have a function y equals g of x, and we're going to do uh, limits around x equals 3 here. So let's do a left-hand limit. Limit as x approaches 3 from the left of g of x equals what? Well, we're going to cover up everything on the right here, and we only care what's happening as we come in from the left. So as we come in from the left, uh, as x comes into 3 from the left, where does it look like y is going? It looks like y is going to hit 2, right? Remember, that's not what actually happens, but remember, that doesn't matter. All that matters is what it looks like is going to happen. And it looks like y is going to hit 2. 
if we come in 2x equals 3 from the left. So this is 2. What if we do a right-hand limit? Limit as x approaches 3 from the right of g of x equals... Well, now we're going to cover up all the stuff on the left here. So that's just this little piece here, so we're going to cover that up. And if x comes into 3 from the right, where does it look like y is going to go? It looks like y is going to hit 2. Okay? So if we come into x equals 3 from the right, it looks like y is going to hit 2 here. So this is also 2. Now again, that's not what actually happens, but it doesn't matter for limits, because limits just tell you what it looks like is going to happen, or how a function behaves near a certain point. Okay, so the left-hand limit exists and it equals 2. The right-hand limit exists and it equals 2. So from this we know that the actual limit uh, as x approaches 3 of f of x must also equal 2 because the left and the right hand limit both uh, exist and they equal the same thing. So because this is true and that's true, then we have limits as x approaches 3 of g of x equals 2. Okay, so the left hand limit and the right hand limit both agree, so this, uh, sometimes called a two-sided limit, uh, also exists and it equals the same thing. But notice that when x is actually 3, uh, y is equal to 1. So g of 3 equals 1. Okay, that's different from all these limits here, but that doesn't matter. Okay? So that's pretty much uh, how you can tell when a limit exists. Uh, it happens if and only if the left-hand limit exists and the right-hand limit exists, and if they equal the same thing.